Okay, so that's uh, <laughs> that's everything sorted out. <laughs> so, uh, so welcome and, uh, and and welcome back to those who've uh, who've been on holiday. Nice to uh, nice to get away. I don't I've no idea where we're going. Um, if okay. anywhere, I think everywhere is going to be built up by the time I get around to thinking about it. I might try a weekend break somewhere, um, city break, something would be nice. So uh, we're on lesson 32. Gosh, hasn't this year gone fast? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we've learned as much on Zoom as we would have done sitting around the class. Uh, we've certainly eaten fewer biscuits and drank less coffee. <laughs> Uh, yeah. which is nice but uh, all being well we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to get together again in September that's the plan although plans are quite hard to make at the moment aren't they so buenos dias uh, buenos dias um, gosh deliberate mistake there uh, y bienvenidos a la lección 32 de nuestra clase español. Uh, nuestra, of course, means our, um, our class, our Spanish class. Um, you can have nuestra or nuestro. Um, in English, it's just ours. It doesn't matter whether it's masculine or feminine because we don't have that concept in English except for odd things like boats, which are feminine. Um, if it was a feminine uh, noun, it would be nuestro. So it's just something to think about. One has to, um, having been caught out with buenas and buenos, um, I, uh, I don't get caught out with nuestra y nuestro. We have to watch the gender all the time. Uh, so, ¿qué tenemos esta semana? Last week's homework. Uh, we've got a few more poetas this year. We're talking about uh, getting around, um, and we're going to have a little bit more on that uh, today. And next week, um, hopefully, we'll um, we'll start being a bit more practical, um, buying tickets and things like that. Um, I've had la palabra lo on the list of things we're going to do for the past I think, three weeks. We haven't got round to it. Well, today I'm determined we're going to get round to it. We're going to have to start talking uh, uh, talking like a Spaniard, a thousand miles an hour uh, to get through. Anyway, empecemos. We begin. So last week's homework. How did folk get along with that? Was uh, was it was everything nice and straightforward? No, no issues. Hopefully, let's see. Let's let's just see how we got on. Um, who's the top of my list? It's Jane who's the top of my oh, rogues gallery list. today. <laughs> I don't know how you manage that, Jane, but there we go. Um, how about these five sentences? Where did I just uh, see it? Number one, uh, lo siento, no puedo oírte. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué dijiste? It's a hard one to say that, isn't it? Dijiste. All of those um, preterites, or a lot of the preterites in the uh, two form have that iste or aste um, thing, and it, and it is quite difficult to get your head around. I quite often get it confused. When somebody says it to me, I often quite get get quite confused with uh, the uh, pronoun te and um, it takes me a minute just to click in uh, but uh, yeah pretty pretty good lo siento no puedo escucharte que ah, it's not all you te, then oh yeah it's more to listen um, ah. rather than to hear um, Right. Is, is that so, right? Um, is that yeah. right? I thought, I thought it was the other way around. I thought Escuchar was listened to and Oye was here. Uh, so, I, you're, you're, the, you're the prof, so we'll take your word. Well, well, I would use Escuchar. Um, 
that doesn't necessarily mean it's right. I have made uh, numerous faux pas in Spanish. Um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll double check that and um, I'll make a, a sneaky change in the notes if uh, if it's uh, if it's right. Escucha to hear. Eric. Eric. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's uh, in um, Google Translate. It, it come. It says Escuchar is listened to you. All right. Okay. I mean, I don't know how correct that is, but that's what it actually. No. Well, I think they probably know more than I do. So, uh, so what? What does? What does it say about oh, yeah. I haven't tried that one. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> um. Hear you. Hear you. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I might yeah. be. It, it, I just thought it's what it says anyway. <laughs> I'll. Uh, I'll. Uh, I, 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 I certainly wouldn't moan if you said, "Oh, yeah." I wasn't going to to grumble about that. Um, but uh, that I would say escuchate. Um, I'll. Uh, I'll. I'll ask. A, I'll ask a proper Spanish speaker and see what uh, see what the answer is. Um, on that one. How about number two? Um, uh, say que voy a llegar tarde a mi vuelo. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you, how did you start it off, Jane? Say? Say, say. Say, say, say que? Or say, say que. Say, say, no, que. say que. Yes, well, very good. Well then, say que. Uh, I know that. I, 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 the the conjugation I know, uh, se, is um, it's one of those that uh, always throws me because again it sounds like a pronoun, doesn't it? Um, and often I I I throw in Jose just to make it uh, clear that it's I know. Um, it's not needed. Uh, Seke. When it's I know that seke, um, it's it, 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 it's less easy to confuse. So seke. Number three, Jane. Uh, ven aquí, quiero decirte que te amo. I'm not sure is that correct. <laughs> that's yeah, that that's that's pretty good. Um, so I would say ven acá. Um, um, Aka and aki both mean here. Um, aki uh, is here. Aka you'd use when there's a uh, sense of uh, travel or motion. In so if somebody has to move to come to go here. Uh, aka would be used. Now, that's that's definitely a rule in Spanish, but um, it's not one that's. Uh, Massively applied, aquí or acá is perfectly good. Um, well, I asked my daughter, my daughter-in-law, who's been speaking Spanish for thirty years, what what the what's the difference between aquí and acá, and she said there isn't any. And I said, well, why do you have you know why do you have two words then? You know, there must be something. So I, I looked it up, and I, in the depths of the internet, I found uh, this rule. Uh, and I've seen it, I've, it's definitely a rule because I've seen it several places, but it wasn't a rule that she recognised. Um, so, aki, aka, I'm not going to moan about it. I think aka is, um, is better, but aki is fine. And my daughter-in-law, Lucia, she hardly ever says aki, she nearly always says aka. Um, and I thought it was a South American thing, but I don't know. You tra Jane, I travel to Spain four or five times a year. We have a villa there. Uh, viajo a España cuatro o cinco veces al año. Tenemos una villa allí. Bang on, yeah, I think that's great. Yeah. And normally we fly to Malaga and rent a small car. Uh, normalmente volamos a Malaga y alquilamos un coche pequeño. Yeah, pequeño. Don't get the, don't get the English. Oh, yeah, pequeño. Yeah. Pequeño. If uh, 
if if a Spaniard was addressing the Queen, they'd call her a, a Gin. Uh, it's Q U equals K. Pequeño. Very good. Well done, Jane. Uh, the next uh, six. Um, I'll go down. Uh, I'll go down my uh, gallery. Uh, Ian's next. Uh, now, Ian's it's your first year in the class, Ian. So, mm. tell me, tell me how you get on with these. And, uh, well, we'll have a go. Yeah. <laughs> um, You're probably doing better than I am. I doubt it. <laughs> Lo major L S Legar El Domingo. Um, Las. I, I can't remember what roads were. Casateras uh, son mas tranquila. Yeah, pretty good. Let's have a look. Um, we we started uh, we started our sentences slightly differently. I think you said uh, you said lome. Yeah, I said lome. Yeah, it's it's um, es mejor. It, it is best. Um, to arrive, El Domingo. Uh, las carateras um, son más tranquilas. Um, you have to make the adjective agree with the noun. So if the noun is plural, we talk about roads. The adjective has to be plural as well. And of course, match the, match the gender. Yes, Carl. Yeah, so is son or están? Because I thought it w wasn't a permanent state. They're quieter on a Sunday than they are on a Monday or a Tuesday. So is that oh, then? No, no. I've got a as well. Yeah, yeah and it, it's 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 one of these uh, it's one of these um, things that you could argue about. Um, I, I don't think están is wrong. Um, personally, I'd use son because I think it's I think. It's an inherent characteristic that they're quieter on Sundays, um, but they're quieter yeah, on Sundays, but but, but not on Mondays. So uh, I, 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 I would, I'm just one of those things. I just wouldn't get into an argument and, about. And not every Sunday it was Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well, that, yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. Uh, at Estan, I'm not, I'm not worried about that at all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. At the beginning, yeah. I thought Es lo mejor. Yeah, es lo mejor. Uh, it's yeah. uh, that's like a it's a, like a Spanish idiom. It it, it is um, it is the best. Es mejor is better, and lo mejor is best. Yeah. Okay. Es okay. lo mejor. Yeah. It's better to arrive on Sunday. It is best. Es lo mejor. Yeah. Absolutely. That's great. Uh, Numero siete. Yes. Uh, no, no me gusta um, conducir en España, especially more en las ciudades más grandes como Madrid. Yeah, good, good. No me gusta conducir. You could say manejar if you wanted to en España. Um, these these words like especially translated into Spanish, they, they do um, they, they do provide us with a bit of a tongue twister. Especialmente en las ciudades más grandes como Madrid. Okay, numero ocho, Ian. Um, Fortunamente a uh, mi espousa le gusta condecir. Watch out for these French sounding uh, pronouns. Uh, Afortunadamente is fine. Uh, por suerte, it also means it's lucky. A mi esposa le gusta. Le gusta. Yeah. Le gusta conducir. Uh, numero nueve. Um, vas a España este año. Este año, yeah, este año. Um, año is, is masculine, so it's este, not esta. Vas a España. Um, you, depending on who you're talking to, it could be va, 
if it's a formal situation, uh, vice, if you're talking to several friends, or van, if you're in Latin America, or again, it's a, a formal situation. So any of those is fine. I didn't specify who you were speaking to. Um, our next trip will be in October. Um, nostro proxiam vage uh, sera en octobre. Nuestro proximo viajo. Um, so, uh, viaje, I beg your pardon. Um, I'm conjugating it. Uh, viaje, a journey, a journey or a trip is a uh, masculine noun, so it's proximo viaje. And ours takes on the, the gender, reflects the gender. Uh, nuestro <coughs> proximo viaje. Uh, será. Um, Listen to Doris Day. She pronounced it really well. Que sera, sera. Um, en octubre. <coughs> well done. Any... Uh, uh, yeah, any... Eric, Eric. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I've just WhatsApped my uh, Spanish friend, teacher, the teacher. Oh, and, right, yeah. And she has said about the hear and to listen. I think she yeah. concurs with Adrian. Okay. Uh, she would say no te oigo oh, you or, oh okay or, yeah yeah all right so uh, which is a useful thing isn't it to learn today yeah, it difference. is yes yeah it's handy to be able to phone a friend too <laughs> <laughs> that's that's great i wish i could do that um so well well thank you for thank you adrian for um uh raising that and thank you to everybody who's uh, clarified it um I'll I'll change it sneakily in the notes, so I'll pretend it never happened. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, right, so we're coming now to uh, our regular little slot, Puedes Decir, um, and um, we've got we've got three or oh, three for you to do. Um, so uh, the first one, Puedes Decir tres. Complementos de mujer. Um, so, complementos, um, uh, things that complement a woman. Uh, well, they're accessories. I think we call them accessories in the UK. Yeah. Um, I bet Carl knows all about women's accessories, don't you, Carl? Um, yeah, loads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you can you can you think of three? Like La Catera. Uh-huh. Maquilla. 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 I'm sorry. Well, maquilla. Maquilla. Make up. Yeah. Yeah. Is that um, right? Yeah. Or a reloj. A clock. No. Red a, watch. a watch. watch, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, good, good, that's three, yeah, okay, Abigail, uh, you, you know a bit more about these sorts of things than Carl, <laughs> <laughs> any, um, uh, have you got any suggestions? Un collar, una pulsera, una bolsa de mano. Bolsa de mano, what was the second one, pulsera? Yeah. What, what, I don't know that one. But... Is it bracelette? Oh, right. A, a, a bracelet. Bracelet. Yeah. For a, for a bracelet. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Anybody got any other suggestions they'd like to, uh, they'd like to offer? I, I had Buffanda. Buffanda, see. But... I meant the more sort of floaty scarf, mm -hmm. so that when I came to the next one and when it asked you, or the last one, and when it asked you about uh, clothes for the winter, what is the difference between a winter scarf and a more sort of floaty, floaty scarf? <laughs> well, well, gosh, you're testing my Spanish. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, a scarf's a scarf in my, uh, in my. Uh, what do you, what do you, what do we say in English? We just call them a scarf, don't we? I suppose we do. Yeah. 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 Uh, 
una bufanda larga y de lana. Uh, a woolen scarf, yeah? yeah. Y larga. Y larga, long scarf, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So that's a, that's a, is that a warm one or a, a fancy one, Adrian? De lana. Warm. Yeah, so, well, warm, woolen one, yeah. Okay. But you can get a nice, you can get a nice thin floaty woolen scarf, can't you? I would have thought. Ladies, hey, help me out, up. help me out here. Scarf is just good. Pash Pashmina is a nice floaty one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this was this was uh, this was my these were my efforts. Sorry, Adrian, I was. Los otros complementos, uh, una sonrisa y un sentido del humor. <laughs> You're writing your application for some kind of um, dating agency, aren't you? I think you're, yeah, I think you're, yeah, I think you're being. Uh, yeah. Did somebody say teeth would be a good accessory? I, I thought, I thought I heard that. <laughs> no. Okay. I couldn't do that one because I thought, what does he mean for a woman? Because a man could do all those things, and so. Uh, I looked it up and it did say accessories for a woman and I thought well I don't know of anything that I actually want to write that would be um, an accessory for a woman. Okay yeah. yeah so yeah. Um, I left it blank so I realise now I just took it too literally. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think um, I think I was uh, Thinking about uh, the shops in town and, uh, and and what you have at a wedding when when your wife says uh, I'll have to get a new dress for so and so's wedding and uh, I'll need new accessories. So it's a <laughs> word I was I was familiar with. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I made some suggestions there, including zapatos, um, uh, which. Um, which sort of accessorise the dress, is that right? Yeah. Un sombrero, again, um, for a wedding maybe. Un collar is a necklace. Uh, uh, we'll, look, we'll look at, bra bracelet was suggested, and makeup, um, Carl thought, was a good, uh, a good accessory. Okay, what have we got next? Puedes decir tres objetos que nos llevamos a la playa. Um, so three objects that you would uh, you would take to the beach. How did how did you get on with that one, Leslie? You got. Um, to... I was alright with that one. Yeah. Um, protector solar. Uh huh. Toalla, toalla. Yeah. Um, and sombrilla. 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 Mm. Sunshine. Yeah, well done. Well done. Um, how did you get on 18? Did you, have, you got, have, you, have you got three? Adrian? Uh, you, you're on the. I'm uh, not paying attention. Um, that's, all, that's all right. Un, un balde con pala. Un balde con pala. Uh, you're going to have to help me. That, that. That's probably wrong, but it's my attempt at a bucket and spade. <laughs> Una red para pescar la gambas, las gambas. <laughs> red, I think, is means net. Looks mm. like the English word red. For prawns. Yeah. <laughs> Un traje do neoprene. Traje, a, a suit. De neoprene. Oh, all right. Is that, a is that like a wetsuit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Well, these these were my suggestions. I missed the wetsuit off. Um, um, una bola or una, una pelota. Ball, always nice to have a 
ball to throw. We had Tao Traje de Baño, Bloqueado Solar, Una Sombria, a pocket and spade, Cubo y Pala. There will be other words. Un Picnic is a is a perfect cognate. And of course, I couldn't go to the beach without taking my dog. Uh, uh, entonces, mi perro. After taking the dog, she'd be there, she'd be very upset. Good, good. Puedes decir tres prendas de ropa que utilizamos en invierno. Um, Caroline Ingram, you were giving this some thought, weren't you? So, what, what, what did you? Well, you've know, got one of mine. I know one of them, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah La Bufanda. Bufan Bufan uh, El Sombrero. Uh -huh. And El Sacco. 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 Sacco is a. A coat, isn't it? Coat? A brigo. A brigo, I would say, was a coat. And do you need to make a distinction between a winter hat and a summer hat? Because a sombrero, I would have thought, was more of a, a sun hat. No? Uh, well, sombrero is a hat. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a hat. I mean, you could say sombrero de sol or um, uh, sombrero uh, caleros. Um, a warm hat, uh, or calido, sombrero calido, warm hat. Um, you say uh, maybe sombrero de invierno, winter hat. We use those. We use those descriptions in English, don't we? I think they carry on to Spanish fairly well. Um, so. Apple, did you have any uh, other helpful suggestions? Uh, Los Gantes. See, so um, so uh, Guantes. Um, Guantes. It, it's it's G U A. Now, normally, when you get G U, you hard it, the U hardens the G, and it isn't sounded. But when it's followed by A. Oh, I don't, you know, th th these these are proper Spanish rules. I'm not making them up. Right. Um, but th they don't have exceptions. That's the nice thing in Spanish. If there was a rule like this in English, there'd be three or four exceptions. So we say we normally G U just goes to G unless it has the DRS DRSCs DRSCs. I can't remember what they're called. Two little dots over it, and then you would pronounce it like. Uh, siguente, um, um, uh, siguena, siguena is a stalk, isn't it? Um, but um, when it's followed by an a, uh, the u is sounded like agua uh, for water. Um, oh yes. I can think of another one. I can think of another one. But uh, yeah, um, guantes is, uh, we get a work in uh, guantes. Nice. Plus, yeah, perfect. Sorry. El Goro. El Goro, un, un, go, un Goro, El Goro, yeah. If you want, um, if you want a, a, a woolly hat, Un Goro de Lama is, um, is, a, is a woolly hat. Essential, uh, essential wear. For winter dog walks. Los Guantes, we have that. Una bufanda, un goro de lana. Un abrigo uh, is a, an overcoat. Um, I'll, I'll take that. There, might, there may be other words for coat. I've never heard sacco, uh, Caroline, but it probably exists. We'll uh, check that. Un impermeable. Um, that's uh, a slip and service. Uh, a raincoat. Um, paraguas, uh, 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 umbrella, musueta. It's almost, it's not a cognate, but we all know what it is. Uh, botas de agua are 
um, uh, hoops, hoops of water. Uh, they're Wellingtons. Mm -hmm. They don't. Uh, they don't recognise the Duke of Wellington in uh, in Spain, uh, <laughs> which is a bit mean, isn't it? Consider <laughs> considering he, uh, he he raised several uh, cities to the ground um, in the Peninsular War. So um, maybe uh, maybe that's something to do with it. Um, oh, okay. I'm just going to put my phone on silent because it's pinging away nineteen through. Okay, so we, we're going to move on to uh, talk about getting around, traveling. Um, so we've got some conversations here, um, uh, three, three different uh, examples uh, where um, people are talking about uh, types of transport that they normally use. And uh, let's just take a just take a look at these. And um, so here we go. Conversation. Uh, first conversation. Maria. Let, let, instead of me reading these out, let's uh, let's have some actors and actresses. I know how you like to uh, get into uh, get into role playing. So. Um, We'll have a quick audition, and uh, Caroline, would you be Marie? Caroline Gray, would you be Maria? And uh, Abigail, would you be Lucia? Yeah. So let's let's read those out. Let's let's think about our Spanish vowels here. Uh, a e i o u, and uh, no no French. I know I know you, a lot of you did French at school, and it's very hard to shake off. Luz, but you've got to say le in, uh, in Spanish. Okay, off we go. Siempre en en autobús. Siempre en autobús. Sí, exactamente. Y le gusta viajar en autobús. Me encanta. Good. Nice, nice quick chat, uh, conversation. Um, Autobus, autobus, it's a u, it goes to a out, autobus, it's a, it's, it's a strange, uh, it's a strange sound to get your head around, to get your tongue around, autobus. Okay, so what's being, what's being said there, Caroline, just, just to translate and set that conversation for me, Maria is saying, do you, do you always travel on bus? Yeah. Um, yes, exactly. I always travel on the bus. Yeah. Do you like to travel on the bus? Yes. Well, yes, I do. Yeah. Encounter. Lovely. She loves. She loves it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's obviously not in another bus in Peterborough. <laughs> She's had a sheltered life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> My, my grandma used to love going on the bus. Um, uh, she used to like standing at the bus stop and going on the bus because she could catch up on all the gossip that had been happening. And uh, it was, uh, I used to hate going on the bus because I had to stand there and listen to her uh, gossiping to her mates all the time. And then uh, I probably had to stand on the bus while she sat down next to one of her mates and they carried on the conversation. But uh, there we go. You'd have to wear a mask now. She would, yeah, I know. <laughs> Gosh, we would have thunk it. Okay, so let's um, let's uh, let's look at this. Abigail, what mode of transport does Lucia always use? Does she like it? Um, now, I don't want you just to say autobus and see. No, which, would, which would answer the question perfectly. I'll, I'll put, I'll, I've written it. I'll, mind you, I did put Maria, but I mean Lucia. Lucia uh, siempre usa el autobús. A ella le encanta viajar por el autobús. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Um, 
that's 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 good. That would be good. I'm more or less the same. You see a CM play that in autobus, I said that. Uh, a Lucia le encanta el autobus. Um, Viaja uh, uh, en el autobus would be fine, or for el autobus. Okay, two, uh, uh, two, two other people, Carlos and Luis. Um, so um, we've got. Um, uh, who have we got? Let's see. Uh, we've got a Carl, haven't we? It'd be quite handy. Um, I think you're made for this part, Carl. Would you, would you, would you be Carlos and uh, uh, Richard? Richard Richard Burgess. I, I, I missed Richard out completely last week. Um, so I'm very sorry about that. I'm going to make sure we don't do that again. So we've only got a little part. Uh, Richard, but um, make the best of it. <laughs> it could it could win an Oscar if you get it right. Luis, you'll be Luis. <laughs> okay, off we go, Carlos. <coughs> Uso el metro por las mañanas para ir a trabajar. Usa el tren. Uso el tren ocasionalmente. Algunos fines de semana viajo para visitar a mi familia fuera de Madrid y algún otro viaje de placer normalmente fines de semana. Good, good. Um, so, uh, well, 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 well done, Richard. There was uh, there was some uh, nice inflection there at the end, which confirmed it was a question. Um, which is important when the question isn't obvious. Uh, but make sure that I heard Usa el tren, um, which is formal, and, and here they're, they're speaking informally. We, we have to get those, we have to get every letter of the word, Usas. We have to make sure uh, we get every letter sounded so the uh, Spaniard knows uh, exactly what we're saying. And um, um, Richard, can you can you answer those those questions? How does Carlos travel to work, and when does he use the train? Now we've got all of the um, uh, we've got all of the uh, words and sentences up there really. So just a question of pulling them out. Um, how does Carlos come to work? Carlos viaja en el metro para trabajo. Trabaja. Trabaja. Uh, el tren el fin de semana para visitar a su familia. Funera de Madrid y Alagros Tros vieja por pasia normalmente los fines de semana. Yeah, good, good. We're going to have to um, we're going to have to work on the Spanish uh, accent uh, next. Uh, well, well, hopefully you'll be here. Now. You'll, you'll come to class next year. Um, we're going to have to. Probably might be sick of them by now. I shouldn't make uh, assumptions. Um, uh, well done. Yep, well done. Uh, Carlos, Carlos usa el metro para viajar trabajar. Um, uh, I said, uh, el viaja en tren algunos fines de semana para visitar a su familia fuera de Madrid. Um, Richard gave a rather more comprehensive answer. I did so extra mark to you, Richard. Okay, we've got uh, we've got another one here. Uh, we've got uh, Miguel and Alberto um, chatting away. So, um, Adrian, um, 
would you be uh, would you be Miguel and uh, Karen? Would you be Alberta? Alberta, rather than Alberto. Alberta, Miguel. Who coges normalmente el tren? Si bastante. Y para que lo coges, dónde vas en tren? Bueno, voy mucho a Málaga durante los fin, fin, fines de semana. Yeah, that's great, great. So we've got a couple of, couple of words there that uh, we ought to maybe just have a look at. Bastante. Um, uh, it's one of those, it can mean lots of, uh, it, it can mean lots of things here. Um, I normally use it when uh, enough or too much in that in that sentence in that sense um uh but it, it's used um it's used uh, also for in this sense yeah quite a lot um see that's um so it, it it's got lots of little sub subtle meanings and um i often uh, i often well not that often but sometimes i've heard my daughter-in-law talking to her children in Spanish and she'd say basta basta which uh, in a slightly angry voice which means uh, enough no more uh, don't say another word uh, basta uh, Eric yes in Miguel's second effort yeah well, I, I read the K as, as what and it, isn't it for what? Shouldn't there be an accent on the key? If I, it's a question. Uh, yeah, there probably should. Uh, should there? I don't know. I don't care what you've got. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a question. You should, you should normally put a, an accent on the key if it's a question. Um, I'll double check. Okay. Uh, also, uh, the word bueno. Um, bueno means good. Bueno is is one of those words that's often put into a sentence to um, allow you a bit of thinking time. Um, and it means, well, like that, bueno, bueno. Um, so we say, well, um, I often go to Madrid, um, is what he's saying. He's giving himself a bit of thinking time. It doesn't mean good. It means, well, oh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thinking word, one of those, which, which is quite useful. You could also say, Pues, pues, and you can extend it. Bueno, bueno. You say it several times. You can't think of the word, um, which often happens to me in Spanish. Um, so it's it's quite a useful um, word to give yourself a bit more time to think of the right word, but also to let somebody know you're struggling and uh, maybe they'll help you out with the right word. So. Um, uh, Let's see. Uh, Donde va Alberto en tren durante los fines de semana? Uh, Karen, what would you say for, how would you answer that one? Al Alberto va a Malaga en tra tren durante los fines de sem semana. That's very good. Perfect. This reminds me of those um, English comprehension uh, sentences you have to do for the 11 plus. I was certain age where we still had the 11 plus and uh, uh, we used to have to cram for it to try and get through. And um, the teacher was always saying, don't just answer yes or no, answer a full sentence. Drag all these uh, bits of sentences together, but uh, 
good, good exercise. Okay, um, so we've got Marta e Alberto uh, now. So um, let's, um, be because I ignored Richard and mine uh, last week, um, I think we should, we should give them extra work to do today. Now we've got, <coughs> we've got, uh, 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 Maya is a perfect martyr, I think, and um, Richard, Richard could be Alberto to a T. So would you, would you two, and give you extra work, would, would you two, would you two uh, look after this sentence, this conversation for me? Let's try, Eric. Si, normalmente voy on train de vacones. Ok, preparis el train? Me gusta vieja on train porque es un transporte comando. No es caro. El preciso es más o menos equivalente a otro medico, medio de transporte y el tempio también. Muy bien, gracias, gracias. So, what's being, what's being said there, um, uh, Maya? Can you, can you translate? Cuando vas de vacaciones, vas en tren normalmente? So we're we're speaking in the informal, aren't we? Cuando vas de vacaciones? Where do you go for your vacation? Yeah. You travel on the train normally? Yeah. So cuando uh, cuando is when? Where, not when. Uh, when, not where. Yeah. Oh, when, yeah. Yeah. Where is, how would you say where? Donde. Donde, sí. Okay. So, when you go on holiday, that's end for then normal. You normally go on the train. And Alberto says... Yes. Yes, <laughs> normally I would take the train for my holiday. Absolutely. Yeah. And Marta is saying, okay. Prefieres el tren. Okay. Why do you prefer the train? Yeah. Alberto, he loves the train, doesn't he, Richard? What's he saying? Me gusta viajar en tren porque es un transporte comodo. I like the train very much. It is. I like to travel. I like to travel by train. I like to travel by train, it is comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's caro. No. It's, it's no. caro, caro. Think of caro uh, like an expensive car. You've got to buy a car, it's always expensive. Caro, expensive. No, no it's caro. It's not expensive. It's, it's expensive. Uh, El precio, the price. The yes. price is more or less equivalent to the other mode of transport. Yeah. They also, I don't know what, El Tiempo Tambien. El, el tem Tiempo Tambien. Uh, the time also. So and he's talking time. about how long it takes. Uh, okay. uh, el Tiempo Tambien. Tambien is a, a, uh, a useful word to know. Also or as well. Um, if... Um, if somebody's having a conversation, you can, uh, and, and you're asked a question, you can, uh, and they answer it first. If you want the same, you can say, uh, a mi tambien, or uh, mi tambien, it means mm -hmm. me too. In, uh, okay, uh, so, por que prefiere Alberto el tren? What would you, how would you answer that? Why does Alberto like prefer the train? 
important you answer me. Mm -hmm. Alberto Gusta Altrain. Uh, no, you can't okay. say that, can you? No, no, you have to say A El A El Alberto. Oh, A El Alberto. Me gusta viajar en tren porque es un transporte cómodo. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. He's obviously never travelled on a train to London. Um, oh. I had the pleasure of doing that for many years um, as a commuter. Um, it's neither comfortable uh, or, uh, or, 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 or cheap. It's muy uh, caro. What you get. That was that was my experience of train travel. Um, I, uh, that's that was my that was my answer. So I said we get round to uh, the word lo, um, and um, we've just about managed to do it. So let's. Um, Let's have a look here. Uh, the word lo means it in Spanish. Don't say lo. Don't say lo quiero. Lo. Lo. Don't forget the Spanish vowel sounds. They're not, you're not allowed like you are in English to elongate a vowel or uh, say it in a different way. In Spanish, it always has to be the same. A, e, e. So, lo, lo. Um, so it means it, and if you've conjugated the verb, it has to go in front of the verb. So, I want it, I want is quiero, I want it, lo quiero, lo quiero. If you've using the verb in the infinitive, um, it can hook on the end. Um, so, lo quiero esta tarde, I want it this afternoon. Can I have it now? Puedo, we've uh, conjugated for there, puedo, I can. Uh, to have is tener. Now, we're using that in the infinitive because we've got the two verbs together. So, puedo tenerlo ahora. You can hook it on the end. Um, you could say, lo puedo tener ahora. That's, that's okay. You may hear that from time to time. Uh, I find it much easier to hook it on the end of the infinitive. So, how would we uh, say these? Who have we not had today? We've not had, um, we've not had Amanda, have we yet? How are you doing, Amanda? No. No. Uh, that's it. I couldn't find the unmute button. I know, it's these iPads, they're in use as well, aren't they? How would, you, how would you say, I have it? Lo tengo. Lo tengo, yeah. I don't have it? No lo tengo. No lo tengo, yeah. I want it. Uh, lo quiero. And I don't want it. No lo quiero. <laughs> Sorry, you, you've acquired a cat from somewhere. <laughs> yes, he's no decided he wants the attention. <laughs> yes. What about, so, I want to do it this afternoon. Um, is that Hase? Uh, I want is, is, yeah. uh, is. The tango. Uh, well, uh, Hase is to Hase. do. Yeah. To want is to, is yeah. can. Okay. Yeah. So, so we need to combine the. Lakira Hase. Um, Mania, uh, Las Tardes. Uh, yeah. Uh, where are we going to put the low? Quiero tener. I, uh, sorry, hacer. Hacerle. 
this afternoon would be Tade is correct. Uh, uh, this afternoon is what's this? Estefan. Estefan. Yeah. Okay, you can do it later. Um. Okay, okay, I hear okay all the time in Spanish. Um, it's obviously just travel the price. It's an international uh, phrase now. Okay, okay. Um. You can do it. What? A, how would we say you can? Uh, te. Just future, you, isn't it? What would we use? We use we use the verb poder to be able. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So um, poder lo mañana. Okay. So you can do it. Uh, puede or puedes if it's formal. Puedes to do hacer to do it hacerlo. So, puede, puedes hacerlo, and later is. I say mañana, but that would be cheating. <laughs> so, tomorrow, yeah. yeah. Uh, mas, mas tarde, mas tarde. Mas tarde. Uh, okay, let's have a look at those. I have it, no tengo. No lo tengo. Okay. Uh, Lo quiero, no lo quiero. I don't want it. Uh, I want to do it this afternoon. Quiero, I want. Hacer, to do. And because it's in the infinity, we can put below at the end. Quiero hacerlo esta tarde. Okay, you can do it later. Puedes hacerlo más tarde. Okay, good. So, just, just practice using uh, lo uh, a little bit. Um, I think um, I think I think you'll find that uh, you find it you'll find it um, really useful uh, word that you, you'll crop up in in lots of um, uh, real life uh, real life situations. So uh, definitely. Uh, Definitely one to uh, to remember, yeah. Okay, jolly good. Um, I think um, yeah, we've got a few others here. In, uh, examples: Puedo hacerlo. I can do it. Uh, can she do it? Puede ella hacerlo or ella puede hacerlo? I don't think it matters. I can't do it. No. Puedo hacerlo. And can he have it? Uh, el puede tenerlo. Um, useful, for, useful phrase. Have I got any more? Uh, we've, we've, we've run out of time again. So we'll save the, uh, we'll save the listening exercise until, uh, until next week. Anybody got any questions on today's, uh, today's lesson? No, uh, Eric, Eric, I yes. seem to remember when we were in Spain, uh, we were forever hearing the word ballet, ballet, or ballet, ballet. Mm, yeah, I, yeah. I think that meant okay, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means okay or all right or um, truly. Yeah, it's a, it's an affirmative. Yeah. So uh, Spanish Spanish would use ball, ballet, and you can say ballet instead of okay. It's perfect. Uh, you do hear okay in in certainly here in Latin America. It's a bit closer to America, of course. They uh, they do travel a lot, despite Donald Trump. They do travel a lot to uh, the U.S. Um, so uh, they got a lot of U.S. culture. So it's probably a bit more common in Latin America. Valet is uh, valet is good. It means 
okay, fine, yes. It's one of those words that can be uh, can be used in lots of lots of ways. Thank you. Good, good. Well, um, I'll. Uh, that's it. I think we're up to uh, we're up to time. Finished bang on eleven. That's unusual. Um, thanks very much, everybody. Good work. Yeah. Um, we'll. Uh, I'll send the notes round with with a few corrections and additions, and. Um, I'll also uh, I'll also set a little bit of homework for next week. Um, uh, so uh, just just to get you thinking. Great stuff. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, yeah. See you uh, see you all next week. We're away next week, so. We'll oh see. right, where are you going? You going somewhere um, wet? Yeah, no, we're going to very very sunny Norfolk to Gunton Hall uh, with oh, my nice. mother. For, for her 80th birthday. Oh, right. Wow. That's the, the, the delayed uh, holiday that we, we, we sort of did it. 80th was in March, but we, we delayed it, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, have a great time. Yeah. Nice uh, four classes a week, so we're fine. Yeah, I think I think it's uh, so the weekend certainly forecast to be good. I've got, grand, I've got the grandchildren the weekend, so I dread it raining. That means <laughs> it's no, twice... It's twice the work when it's three three percent chance of rain for the next ten days. Is that right? Yeah. 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 How's you? How's your grandchild, Caroline? Are you? Uh, you? He's a little girl, wasn't it? Yeah, she see. was, and and we're about to get another one. Ne hopefully next Friday. Oh, crummy! Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Grandchildren. I found grandchildren are like buses. Um, <laughs> they always come in twos and threes. We. Uh, We'd given up on grandchildren. My wife had started collecting spring spaniels instead, and uh, <laughs> and then and then we we got a granddaughter. We've had we've had a new grandchild every year for the last six years. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, unless somebody's not telling me something, we're not going to have one this year. So it would be it would be a bit of a break. Another spaniel. Oh. <laughs> another, <laughs> to get another spaniel. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's, great. that's great. That's great news, Caroline. What is a, is a, is a granddaughter? She will be, she'll be certainly toddling around. Yeah. Well, she, yeah, she's only 19 months. Yeah. So a delightful age. Lovely age. Yeah. But it's it's hard, it, yeah. hard work with a baby, I'd yeah. imagine. Yeah. Well, you'd be caught, well, you'll be there to help, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 La Figuena va a visitar. <laughs> a figuena con diuresis va a visitar. Stork is going to visit. Oh, right. Ah. <laughs> it was, it was, you... Eric's, it was Eric's example of a word where the U is pronounced after the G before the E. A figuena. A figuena. All right. I don't. I don't my, you don't hear that the same these days with babies, do you? The stork being delivering it. It used to be, uh, it used to tell children all kinds of rubbish when I was little. So that was uh, <laughs> that was one. And I used to say, "Well, where did I come from?" And she used to say, "I found you behind a bush." <laughs> 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 now, nowadays, my my my, my daughters-in-law would would start giving a lecture on the facts of life, uh, <laughs> um, uh, but I was yeah. No, I was found behind a bush. Um, what about my sister? Oh, the stork delivered her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's probably better to tell children the truth. Okay, wonderful. See you all yeah. soon. Adios. 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 Adios.